Hello, my name is Chris Larson. I work with Case IH and the Early Riser Planter. Today, I want to help you understand more about the Early Riser Planter and the agronomic benefits it brings to you, the customer. The Early Riser Planter is known for the ability to produce higher yields through some of its agronomic designs. Let's hear more from the agronomist Missy Bauer on the two agronomic goals that we're going for when planting our crop. You want want a picket fence stand. That's where we're talking about the uniformity from plant to plant spacing. For example, maybe based on your population row spacing, each one of those plants should be six inches apart. Well, is it always six inches apart, okay? And if not, why? Is it something with your metering side of things or is it something that your planter's uh, causing a lot of misplaced seed maybe because it's not level or something like that? The other thing that we're after is what she was talking about, the photocopied plants and ears. This is when you go out to your field and each one of those plants is the same size, the same stalk diameter, and about the same size of ear. And that photocopy part is a difficult thing to get working out in your fields, but it goes back to a lot of little things that we can do on that corn planter to get uniform planting depth um, and making sure we're planting into moisture, get good seed to soil contact, all those types of things to help that uniformity come. If you go out there and you see that you've got a plant that doesn't have a good harvestable ear on it or a very small ear, first thing we're gonna do is just start digging. We don't go to the, go to the field without our shovel. When that corn gets up, we're at that four to maybe six collars, so corn about this big, we can actually go out there, we can do some stand counts and we can do some estimated ear counts at that time. If you've got plants or space close together like a double drop or some misplaced seed, that plant's probably not gonna have a good harvestable ear on there. If you go out there and most of it's all at V5 or five collar corn, and you've got a plant that's only V3 or three collars, we're gonna say that if we're more than a collar behind, we're probably not gonna produce a good harvestable ear. Case IH recommends six agronomic principles to follow while planting the crop. The first agronomic principle is planting to a proper seed depth. The second agronomic principle is uniform seed depth across the entire planter and throughout the field. The third, good soil to seed contact. The fourth, uniform soil pressure all around that seed. The fifth, accurate seed population. And the sixth, accurate in-row seed spacing. Most manufacturers focus on the fifth and the sixth principle the hardest. In-row seed spacing and seed population are the easiest to influence when looking for that picket fence stand. While striving for those photocopy plants that Missy referenced, the first four agronomic principles influence that the most. Those first four agronomic principles have the highest or largest impact on yield. So how do we measure that picket fence stand and photocopy plant? We use net effective stand to measure that. Net effective stand is a percentage and is the total plant population minus the poorly emerged plants minus the poorly spaced plants divided by the total plant population. At Case IH, we use the determinator planter, which is found behind me. This planter allows us to plant on the same day, in the same conditions, at the same depths with one single planter and compare row units side by side and then calculate net effective stand. We've taken 162,000 individualized reference points and crop measurements or plant measurements to determine the net effective stand and how we stand up to the competition. Oftentimes, productivity is, is at the top of our minds during the planting season. The early riser planter has shown at four to five miles per hour that we are up to 6% better as far as net effective stand goes when at those ground speeds. 7% better when we get to six to seven miles per hour, and up to 10% better at eight miles per hour. Case IH is proud that we take responsibility for those six agronomic principles, and they're all designed into the early riser planter found behind me. The double disc openers that are opening the seed trench uh, provide that soil to seed contact by cutting through residue uh, because only one opening disc edge is there to cut through that residue, as opposed to two edges on competitive or conventional row units. The 14 inches in diameter allows when we cut through residue or enter the soil at two inches of depth, it cuts the residue perfectly. Other features of the double disc openers is that they're only at 10 and a half degrees. This provides the ability to open a narrow trench and displace less soil. The pulled style gauge wheel has a indentation along the edge of that gauge wheel 
that, that mates up right along the edge of my, my opening disc. Okay? So when the soil comes out of the trench, the soil is able to be stored in the edge of this gauge wheel, resulting in a very, very soft sidewall and providing the so seed when it falls to the trench to fall into a very, very soft seed trench. This also helps relate to keep the evenness of that row unit and keeps us at an even depth position, which is another one of those agronomic principles that we talked about earlier. Having proper seed depth control gives us the ability to have all the corn come out of the ground at the same time, providing early, even emergence. The Early Riser planter features the industry's only planter that is equipped with a furrow forming point. This furrow forming point allows even depth control all the way across the planter. That even depth control is also complemented by the ability on our row unit to zero that row unit and zero each individual row unit across the entire planter. The forming point is also coupled together with the seed shoe. The seed shoe is there to protect the side walls of the trench so the seed can fall in there. But the back of the early riser row unit features a dual stage closing system to take care in covering the seed and providing perfect soil pressure on top of that seed. The first of the two stage closing system is the inverted closing disc. The closing disc places the moist soil that was retained by the edge of the gauge wheels back on top of the seed and gently squeezes it the trench close. The second stage of the, of the dual stage closing system is the press wheel. It presses that soil down, giving us soil pressure around that seed for perfect germination. The press wheel also has a rib right through the middle of it as well as some spokes that come off the edge. These are allowed there, are there to basically crack that soil or leave a mark in the soil. It allows that soil to crack if ever crusted and for that seedling to emerge through evenly with just like the rest of them and then make a photocopy plant throughout the entire field. All of these components that are found on the early riser planter and in some cases only the early riser planter are the pieces that provide you with that photocopy plant throughout the field, as well as that picket fence stand that you're looking for, for higher yield potential and higher profitability. I invite you to visit your local dealer to learn more about the agronomic advantages of the Case IH Early Riser Planter and the other Case IH equipment out there.